As dawn broke on the 21st of June 2000 over the city of Cape Town on the southern tip of the African continent, the unseasonably calm weather could hardly have hinted at the environmental disaster which was about to shatter the winter respite of the sparest Cape. A Panamanian registered ore carrier, the Treasure, entering the Cape Town harbour was found to have a large tear in its hull. Fearing it may sink, Cape Maritime authorities took the vessel in tow and dragged it out to sea. Soon afterwards, the tow connection snapped and the ore carrier sank six kilometres off the coast. The 13,000 tonnes of fuel oil started leaking immediately. Penguins covered in oil came ashore on Robben Island, 20 kilometres to the south, the very next day. This historic island, only recently declared a World Heritage Site, has the third largest breeding population of African penguins in the world. A larger colony on Dusson Island, 60 kilometres to the north, was also soon threatened by the drifting oil spill. Within days, this is what 20% of the world's remaining African penguin population looked like. The drama that unfolded over the next two months was to become the largest single rescue operation of oiled wildlife in history. Were it not for the swift, concerted and unselfish efforts of thousands of volunteers, some from as far afield as the United States, Germany and Australia, 40,000 of the total population of 160,000 penguins could have been wiped out, contributing to the early extinction of the species in their natural habitat. And responding to oil spills has become one of our specializations, unfortunately. Um... Sankov, the South African National Council for the Care of Coastal Birds, who coordinated the rescue operation, have almost perfected the technique of capturing, cleaning, and caring for oiled seabirds. But the overwhelming scale of this disaster was something never before encountered. Washing the oil off the birds is the most critical part of the entire rehabilitation process. The secret lies in the technique of cleaning. Oil destroys a bird's waterproofing, causing the feathers to clump together, leading to hypothermia and the loss of buoyancy in cold sea water. An oil bird will not hunt, but mobilize its fat reserves and will eventually dehydrate and die. Force feeding the oil birds is the only way to avoid starvation. A challenge faced by volunteers was to clean the birds before they suffered the long-term effects of petrochemical poisoning. The other crucial challenge encountered by the volunteers in washing the penguins was to use a cleaning agent which was highly effective in dissolving the thick black oil without further harming the already traumatized birds. From the onset of the campaign, Sankob considered only one cleaning product, GNLD's LDC Light Duty Concentrate. Earlier experience, most notably during the sinking of the Apollo Sea off the Cape West Coast six years earlier, had proven beyond a doubt the effectiveness of this remarkable household cleaner. LDC's effectiveness lies in its oil and fat dispersing properties, and the fact that this low-dose, low-burden pH-neutral detergent is as gentle on the penguins as on the people washing them. Depending on the extent of the oiling and the condition of each bird, the washing process can take anywhere from 20 minutes to over an hour. After repeated washes in warm water with LDC and careful scrubbing with a toothbrush, the penguins are rinsed thoroughly until their feathers regain their natural waterproofing. This is achieved during rinsing, and the tiny feathers effectively repel the water and remain dry. No other commercial or industrial cleaner could produce these remarkable results without any side effects whatsoever. After a quick visit to the vet and a vitamin injection, the cleaned birds enjoy their first swim in their specially constructed pools, eagerly awaiting their eventual release back into the sea once the oil spill has been cleared up. Following the sinking of the treasure in June, GNLD distributors were quick off the mark, personally donating many litres of LDC to the operation. This was also matched by a generous bulk donation by GNLD. 
But as the extent of the disaster grew, it became apparent that thousands, rather than hundreds of liters of LDC, were required to tackle the task of washing the estimated 15,000 heavily oiled birds at the emergency rescue station housed in a massive warehouse in Salt River in Cape Town. GNLD staff, working closely with the rescue coordinators, arranged for an emergency consignment of over 7,500 liters of LDC to be rushed to Cape Town. Without it, the cleaning operation would simply have ground to a halt. Thousands of the birds were transported to Port Elizabeth. Tons of oil has put some 55,000 penguins at risk. The arrival of this crucial consignment was met with relief and jubilation by volunteers and rescue workers. Witnessing the extent of the cleaning task at hand and the enormous cost of the entire operation, GNLD distributors, staff and management put their heads together and launched a campaign to raise funds for the purchase of LDC. The unspoken aim was to provide enough LDC to wash every penguin affected by the disaster. Over the course of the next month, while people around the world followed the progress of the celebrity penguins Percy, Peter and Pamela on their journey home over the internet, GNLD distributors plugged away at raising funds for the real issue, cleaning the thousands of birds before time ran out. GNLD distributors, customers, staff, friends and family, school children, businesses and concerned individuals from South and Southern Africa generously responded to the appeal to buy a liter of LDC and save a penguin. As the days turned into weeks, the amount of LDC donated increased steadily. And by the end of August, over 120,000 rands worth of this extraordinary and vital product was donated. A fantastic effort and a job well done. All 15,000 oiled penguins could greet the arrival of spring in southern Africa on the 1st of September a whole lot cleaner than before and without a laundry bill to go with it thanks to the efforts of their GNLD friends. A letter of appreciation from Sankob to distributors, customers and staff puts their contribution neatly into perspective. You have been involved in a rescue operation that is unprecedented in history. Never have we been able to save and rehabilitate so many oiled birds in such a short time frame. On behalf of Sankob and the international team, thank you, GNLD. And what of the survival rate of these rehabilitated penguins back in the wild? Researchers at the Avian Demographics Unit at the University of Cape Town have done extensive research on birds washed using LDC during previous oil spills and have recorded many rehabilitated penguins successfully breeding in their colonies. The ultimate key to the long-term survival of this vulnerable and universally loved species. The largest rescue operation of wildlife since Noah filled his ark in biblical times was officially declared an overwhelming success. For once, we were able to succeed in undoing the damage that humans have caused to wild animals and their environment. The African penguin has survived its darkest hour. Thanks in no small part to the efforts of GNLD distributors, customers, staff and the many friends of this fragile, irreplaceable.